today's video, I want to go over the trim function. So I had a, uh, a need this week to trim some leading uh, zeros from a string. And traditionally, I have used other methods for doing that, basically looking for occurrences of uh, whatever character I'm looking for. In this case, it was zeros and uh, just basically replacing them in the string. And so I, you know, I just kind of did a search and I came across a way to do this with trim and I had never done this uh, with trim before. I've always used trim for trimming white space. So this is a great example of using something for a very long time and maybe uh, gets enhanced at some point and you don't realize that that additional functionality is there. So again, uh, Oracle trim is a function that removes in this case, specified characters. In my case, I always thought it was white space, but it, you can specify the characters that you want to remove from the beginning or the end of a string. So you typically, I've used it for white space, but hey, we can designate characters. That's what I learned this week. So the syntax here is below, and you can tell it to trim. You can tell it to trim leading. You can tell it to trim trailing. You can tell it to trim both, and then you give it the character that you want to trim, and then you say from, and then you give it your string. Some related functions for trim are L trim, right, and R trim, which are basically shorthands for this leading and trailing. And this syntax applies to Oracle 8i and above. And again, I've been using trim for a very long time, even before Oracle 8i, and that's why I probably didn't come across uh, the ability to trim these other characters. So here's some examples. So in this first case, we've got leading white space and trailing white space. And as you can see, the result is just tech without any of those characters. So the default here is to trim white space. And the default is to trim the beginning and the end. So here's with that slightly different syntax. So in this case, I'm trimming this characters, this set of characters from, which is just a space character from tech. So it's basically the same thing. It's just the, the, the uh, en enhanced uh, syntax. Now here's what I came across this week is that I can specify that character. So in this case, I'm specifying trimming a zero and the leading zeros from this string. So when I pass it through the function, I get the result one, two, three, when this is the input. And here is, we're gonna, tra we're gonna trim the trailing ones from the string tech one. And so this goes away. And here in this example, we're using the both. So we've used leading, trailing, and now we're talking about both. And we're gonna get rid of the ones from the string one, two, three, tech one, 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 and then the result is two, three tech. Jump over to SQL Developer and give you guys a few, a few more examples here. So I've got a table I've created and I've cre put some identifiers in it. And all I'm doing here is putting these uh, bounds on the string so it's easier to see the white space. So these greater than less than operators are just here to help you see when you've got like leading or trailing white spaces. So these are the strings in the tables. And so here I'm just gonna pass it through and I'm gonna do a trim. And so any, any string that's got a leading or a trailing space should get trimmed in this case. And I'm gonna give you the before and after in, of the, the before and after strings so you can see what the translation is. So this is what the string is and this is what it gets converted to. And as you can see, this removed this trailing space. We've removed the leading and trailing space, and here we've re removed the trailing space. Now here, we're going to remove the leading zeros from the identifier column. So in this case, we've got a couple leading zeros. Hey, and they've gone away, but that trailing one is still there because we only specified leading. And here we've got a leading and a trailing but we've only removed the leading because we really, we've only used the leading uh, qualifier of the trim. And you can see these others are the same. So now we're going to remove the trailing zeros from the identifier column. So we've got a trailing one here. As you can see, it goes away. Same thing here. 
and then the rest of these don't have the zeros. And since we're not specif we're only specifying zeros, these spaces are remaining. So if you wanted to get rid of the leading or get rid of the zeros and the spaces, you'd need to actually call the trim function multiple times. And here we are going to trim both the leading and the trailing zeros. So here we've got the leading and trailing gone away. So that's your example of using both. And I could actually add in, let's trim the spaces as well, just as we, and all you can do is stack these functions. Since I'm doing spaces, I'm just gonna give it the trim with no arguments and I don't need the deleting and trailing. And now, as you can see, we have removed the spaces as in this case, the zeros as in this case. So that's what you can do is you could just keep stacking these functions if you have different types, different characters that you want to remove from your strings. I'll do it for the trim function. I appreciate you guys watching. This was a great example of using something, using functionality in SQL for many years and then coming across a new way to use it. Um, so always pay attention to the new documentation as uh, databases evolve over time because they add new functionality. And if you don't know about it, you're not going to use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video. If you got something out of it, consider subscribing to the channel and leave your questions and comments below. Thanks. Bye.